Breaking new developments at this hour. Five journalists are dead after a man opens fire inside the newsroom of a Maryland newspaper. New tonight, the suspected killer is creating challenges for detectives. ABC's Janae Norman is on the scene. A gunman opening fire inside the newsroom of the Capitol Gazette newspaper. Several shots have been fired. A uh, possible uh, shotgun. At least 10 shots heard. Multiple law enforcement agencies rushing to the scene. Police there within 60 seconds of the first calls for help. All units limit your transmissions. Do we have any kind of intel on our shooter? Fight my with a ponytail. Phil Davis, a police reporter for the paper, on Twitter with chilling descriptions of his newsroom turned crime scene, tweeting, gunmen shot through the glass door to the office and opened fire on multiple employees. Can't say much more and don't want to declare anyone dead, but it's bad. And writing, there is nothing more terrifying than hearing multiple people get shot while you're under your desk and then hear the gunmen reload. First victim's name is Wendy Winters. Second victim is Rebecca Smith. Third victim is Robert Hyacin. Fourth victim is Gerald Feshman. And the fifth victim is John McNamara. 170 people evacuated safely, seen with their hands in the air outside. Officers not hesitating to enter the building, surrounding the gunman, telling ABC News they recovered a shotgun on the scene. It was very, very scary because you would never think something would happen to you at work. Investigators have tentatively identified the suspect as 38 year old Jared Ramos and we're learning he may have targeted the newspaper over a lawsuit for defamation he filed against the outlet in 2015. Janae Norman, ABC News, Annapolis, Maryland. Meantime, within the last 30 minutes, we got the pictures of all five people who died in today's shooting. Here they are again, Wendy Winters, Rebecca Smith, Robert Hyacin, Gerald Fishman and John McNamara. All five victims worked for the Capitol Gazette. Tonight we're on